I'm not surprised that people are illegally logging and hunting in the forest around here. The war has left them poor and desperate. They have little choice. But I can't help but feel a bit depressed. When I hear something that might offer a glimmer of hope, I go check it out. Right in the heartland of the Picathartes, a few hours south of Kenema, people are being persuaded to protect the rainforest. In Gorohan village, would-be loggers and hunters have donned bee suits for the day. They're going to be trained as beekeepers. The whole purpose of this project is to get this village really involved with conservation activities in the forest. Connect the village to the forest. People need honey, but it's expensive. Bees need the rainforest and its flowers. So if people start keeping bees, they're going to need to keep the forest too. Give me something. Like deodorant? The smoke is supposed to calm the bees down. I hope it works. From experience, I know these African bees pack a mean sting. Oh, wow. The honeycombs of the wild are going to be taken back to the village, and all the bees should follow. The beekeeping is being funded by the British-based Royal Society for the Protection of Birds. It's the first major wildlife organization to come back to Sierra Leone since the war ended. Is that honey right there? Yes, there's honey. Yeah. Damn, that's really good. That's the best tasting thing I've had in Sierra Leone since I got it. So, so when they say wild honey, this is it? It's, this yeah, is 100% I mean, yeah. wild African honey? Yes, yeah, from, the, from the forest. Oh, this is very nice. It's heartening to see conservation in action in this way, connecting people to the environment. Please that. There. 